David and Lydia sat by the campfire, the flickering flames casting shadows on their faces. The night was quiet, a rare moment of peace in a world turned upside down. As the warmth of the fire wrapped around them, Lydia listened intently, her eyes reflecting the firelight. David continued, I decided to give my life to Christ. The pastor's words gave me hope and a purpose, but the journey wasn't easy. I faced horrors I never imagined. He took a deep breath before describing the demons and locusts. They were like nothing I'd ever seen. Demons with twisted nightmarish forms and locusts that could sting like scorpions. They roamed the earth spreading terror and pain. As evil grew, God's power grew in the 144,000 men who preached all over the world. And there were these two men in sackcloth who came on the scene. They had great power. I read the Bible and I believe they are the two witnesses. But let me tell you, there were giants in the land and those two witnesses called down a plague of boulders on these giants and killed them. I thank God for letting those two witnesses get rid of those giants. They terrorized the world. I should have been afraid, but every time evil came near, a force field seemed to protect me. That's incredible, David. It was. I realized that God was with me, protecting me even in the darkest moments. As I traveled, I saw horrors, people turning on each other, natural disasters, plagues. But I also saw moments of grace, people helping each other, small communities of believers holding on to their faith. The pastor told me Jesus would return to Jerusalem. I decided to go there, hoping to see Ethan again. Along the way, I met you, and we've been through so much together, but I know we're on the right path. We are. We'll see them again, David. We'll keep our faith and keep moving forward. Yes, we will. We just need to stay strong, stay tuned for the next episode of David's Journey.